With temps in the low teens and sub-zero wind chills, it was a perfect setting for the return of hockey to Brick City. Fans by the thousands streamed into the Prudential Center to welcome their defending Eastern Conference champions. It's been a long time since the Devils have played. It's been about three and a half months since the lockout began. So once we knew that the, t uh, the lockout was over and that the season was on sale, we came right up, we went online, so excited for this game. Uh, do you blame management? Do you blame the union? Uh, I mean, I guess they're both kind of to blame, but I'm going to come back anyway. Like, I love the game, so. Thousands of fans meant ringing cash registers at the team shop, at the parking lot, and at the bars and restaurants, all of them elated to have Devils fans back downtown. As you can see, we're extremely packed and, you know, it's a little bit more wild and uppy and, you know, it's nicer. This is a typical crowd on a not game night. And this is what it looks like on game night. It's tough to get exact numbers on the impact the Devils have had down here, but the team estimated that its 11 playoff games last year created more than 50 jobs and generated over $5 million in taxes and economic activity. Tammy Brown's Loft 47 Bistro is usually not this busy on a regular weeknight. It's also an increase, uh, increase of revenue, of course, and it just brings a different feel to the block. So when we have Devils games, it's just, it makes everything come alive, which we love. As for action on the ice, the Devils' Travis Zajac scored less than two minutes into the game. <laughs> And 40-year-old Martin Brodeur notched his 120th shutout, turning away 24 shots on goal as the Devils won 3-0 before an announced crowd of 17,650, a virtual sellout at the 18,000-seat rock. A big victory for the home team tonight, but regardless of the outcome, everyone here agrees the big winner tonight was this city and these fans. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.